Hello, I'm Dr. Michelle Jorgensen with Living Wealth, Dr. Michelle. And I wanted to talk to you a little bit about something that I do to really kind of get my head in the right place and figure out what I want to do with myself and my family and what our goals and long-term plans really are. You know, when you start to think about self-sufficiency, it's a lifestyle change. It's something that you do as a family and it's something that you commit yourself to. You can start by just dipping your toes and doing a little bit. You can do more, you can be all in, you can be anywhere in between all of those things. But I think it's really important to start by thinking about what are your goals for this lifestyle change? What do you want to achieve? Do you just want to start cooking a little bit more? Or do you want to actually provide all of your own food? You know, those are a wide range of possibilities. And my new book, Self-Sufficient Living, is going to help you at whatever place you are on that scale, all the way from just, you know, cooking a meal a week to, hey, I want to do everything for my family, you know. I'm looking a little rough around the edges today because we spent the day uh, in Seattle. We are up in the Pacific Northwest on the, my, my book tour and um, it was a great day. But tonight I'm out here doing what I call sitting on a rock. So you can see behind me the Puget Sound, which is just a gorgeous, gorgeous place out there. And I'm out walking with my husband and we we're just talking a little bit about our plans. And so we call that sitting on a rock. We sit on a rock, which means we, we remove ourselves from our lives as we know it. Sometimes when you're in the middle of the busy and the noisy and the crazy and everything that you're doing, it's hard to really get introspective and say, you know, what if we had any choice in the world? What would we do? What would that look like? And that's a really important thing to do. You know, just recently I revisited, a, I wrote a five-year vision or a five-year plan three years ago, and I just reread it about two weeks ago, and I was shocked and how accurate it is. And I've nearly completed all five years of those things in three years. So I just rewrote another four year vision because there's a big milestone that's gonna come for our family in four years. And it's amazing how just getting that introspection and helping yourself really figure out where you're going gets you there. So go sit on a rock, figure out what part of self-sufficient living really speaks to you, where you wanna start, and I'm here to help you. So go sit on a rock and figure it out and let's do this together.